Well hello everyone and welcome to the Econobox Garage. As we continue with our Buckeye build, the parts order that I was waiting for has finally arrived. So the plan is to get the floor reinforcement installed, the end plates put on the outer sills at the front, and hopefully if all goes well the driver's side floor panel patch will go into place. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Here's the end plate for the sill that I ordered. And it's all trimmed up and adjusted as necessary to, to fit in its spot right in here. And I'll get that clamped in and welded in place. So here's that end plate uh, clamped in place. And as I said, it's all ready to weld in. I've got uh, the spots for the plug welds and uh, that I will have to put in an extra patch up in this corner and down underneath here. Uh, but once that's in, that will be all nicely uh, sealed up, at least metal-wise, and then we'll get some uh, seam sealer in that when we get around to doing that. I'm going to do all of that all at the same time. So there we go, that's that little uh, end plate uh, welded in place, shot a primer on it, and I've got this uh, gap at the top filled in with a bit, and a gap at the bottom as well. So with that side done, let's get on to the other one. And there's the other side, um, all done. So now that I've got the shut panel done down on the passenger side and the one up on the driver's side, I can get to work installing the new reinforcing beam and the floor. But before I do that, I've got to flip the car back to the other side and then we can get to work on that. Well, I have the reinforcing rib all uh, cut to length and just about ready to go in. It uh, fits quite nicely lengthwise. The one thing I have to keep in mind is that these two flanges here need to be flush with this flange here so that the floor pan just sits on there nicely in that. So on here, you can see the, the it comes straight but it does need to have a bit of a jog in it, like this. So now I'm going to show you how I did that. So what I've done here is I've taped a couple of pieces of uh, cutoffs from the floor pan. Uh, one on the bottom and one on the top. I just need to slide this one down a little bit so there's room for a bend. And when I put those in the vise, this will clamp up and then bend it down approximately the thickness of the floor, which is what I need, and I end up with uh, this what you see here, where it's got a bit of a jog in it. Okay. 
And there, just get it clamped into place. Add a bit of leverage in there. So now you can see I've got the jog on uh, this side as well as on this side and that will slide under the flange on that cross piece and, uh, and result with this nice nice and flat. Well I have the reinforcing beam uh, bolted into place and clamped uh, down here and then it's hard to really see but uh, where the or put that little dent in this part here is now flush with this part here. So I'll just Put another clamp on this side to make sure it's tight. Uh, the four bolts that come in through the reinforcing on the other side, through this plate, and then the, through, through the spring plate, I've got those in place. And then before I tightened everything up, I just put a the old U-bolt into these holes to make sure this all lined up here. Once this piece is welded in, uh, then I can unbolt everything again, and I'll clean this edge up here and then I could be ready to install the floor pan. So next step is I'll flip the car over, fire up the welder, and we'll get this uh, uh, permanently fixed in place. So here we are uh, looking from the top side. So you can see the four bolts that go through this reinforcing piece here. Um, I've cleaned off the paint on the um, Reinforcing beam so I can do these spot welds back up and cleaned up all along here because it gets welded along into here and here through those spot welds and then at the other end it gets welded up to this bulkhead where I put in that patch. And I still have some to finish welding that in but I can do that all at the same time. It's a lot easier to do uh, from on top. So there we have the reinforcing beam welded in and it's good and solid so I'm going to flip the car back over and start to work on getting the floor pan itself back in. Well there we go we're all prepped and ready to start welding in. Everything's cleaned up and uh, alignment is is really good and you can see I've uh, sprayed uh, some uh, zinc primer inside the cavity here. I didn't paint these uh, flanges here because I wanted to make sure I got a really positive weld uh, through all the uh, holes in the panel so those will be the plug welds that go through each of those flanges so I've got uh, holes started over here for the uh, where the spring plate all gets bolted on and then once I get it in place I'll just enlarge them as necessary with a just a round file so so next step is to get this floor pan finally welded in well I've got the uh, the floor pan welded in from the bottom side and I'm very happy with how that's turned out. Uh, still not the prettiest of welding, but way better uh, than on my first attempt on the on the other side of the car. So I've got the holes all filed out to the proper size. So that's going to be it for uh, for this week. Uh, next week I'll flip the car back over, finish welding in the floor pan in, and then I can get going on uh, seam sealing on the main part of the floor. And after that I will get to looking closer at the rear quarter on this side and especially on on that side up there. There's, I'm going to cut out all the fiberglass and what have you up in there. I can see there's a spot just in the edge there that will need patching if not replacing. Here this bottom lip of the rear valence is quite badly bent and mangled and I have found um, a source for a replacement for that. So I'll pick up, I think I'm going to order that patch for here and that'll come from frog eye spares in the uk and i may just have to bite the bullet and and pick up replacement patches for these two bottom quarters as well well that does it for another week in the garage uh thanks for joining me please be sure to like uh leave a comment or a question
hit that subscribe button and when you do that be sure to hit that little bell icon so that you'll get notified when the next videos come out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.